Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. Here we are, boy. Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. <laughs> 
Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. <laughs> young man go change immediately ah oh, come on hey you're the new we don't have a bar in the dark just a soda machine don't hurt me please don't Come on, you should probably sugar change rush. into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Mm. Hey, Jimmy, totally let me show you around this prison. I'm not one of these guys. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Word stupid, pulverizing good. What did I ever do to you? Your money, all of it. I didn't mean to piss you off. 
you free. You don't know what pain is. Next time you get more doofus. Come on, let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Don't let the prefects see you break any rules. They'll hurt you. Well done! You do know you're not supposed to be doing that. I really like your Let's outfit. Let's go to the cab. You lame I'll show jerk. You local wildlife. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Good job. Keep paying attention. Fascinating, isn't it? Keep 
up the good work, you're almost done. You may have a future ahead of you, young man. It was easy. Jimmy Hopkins if I don't get delivers. That a, my mom will be so You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ow! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. <laughs> You're a whip, new kid! I think you suck! Don't look at me! You're horrible! I saw it. He ran towards the film. Got it! I'll get him here! <laughs> Get him! 
moved on. Do you know how useless you are? Everybody stop what you're doing. Want to help me with some, um, biology homework? Somebody wants to be hit! Your mama hits better! So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you? Hey, Hopkins, you psychotic gimp! This way! I want to see your long-range skill. See if you can get a shot. You do have some talent. Come on, let's go down to the football field. All right.
lost pal. Wanna be friends? Who has Bye. time for real jobs? I you just spent the last eight, eight hours missing I do greetings, comrades. Hey Algernon, I heard you wet your bed again. Uh, I didn't it just you. Come on, punk, let's rock! I really, really, really myself once this month. If I do it again, Jimmy, we gotta do this. Yeah, thanks. You stink. Why is my hardware all squishy? Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? The 
This is gonna be fun. Harassing some old homeless guy is fun. It is. And you should be grateful you're not the victim for once. I guess. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? Don't speak to a prefect. Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> when you come back. That's that nonsense dealt with. Why am I surrounded by morons? Leave me alone. Hey, buddy. You are the biggest loser in the world. Why can't they have fudgesicles every Friday? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get out! I just don't... Make me angry.
Nice to know there's a violent, crazy old man on campus. Thanks, Timmy. That's great. Here, take this. Glad that's done. So listen, I really need your help. Sounds good. Thanks. I'm good. That's all there is to it. Give it back! Or what? Or, well, just...
Jimmy, thank you. You're wonderful. You're amazing, you know that? That was exactly as I'd expected. That's how it's done. <laughs>